What's up, everybody? All right, let's see what we can get into. We can always get into some kind of trouble. I just literally listened to somebody's reading and the entire message. Well, I mean, I don't know that much about what's going on in their life, but from what I was just was just exposed to me. Funky town. Yeah, there's some funky shit. Thank you, Spirit Guides. That's what's playing. Um, it was um, very clear to me that they were and have been reading themselves and a lot of us we do pull on our own energy but this was a type of energy where they were laughing and mocking as if this was somebody else they were reading for talk about it talk about it talk about it yeah something funky something ain't right with somebody another one but the dust we'll see What's the message? I love you guys. I'm philosophical. This is where we get down with being absolutely true and authentic. And we say shit that other people just think about. And we heal at the same time. Liars at the bottom. God. Alright. Well, there's this too. Somebody could be lying about being a good person. They could be lying uh, when they talk about God. But let's see. <laughs> uh, it, it, it only takes like one slip up when you have somebody watching you or listening to you that's very much aware. There's always going to be somebody with all of us that is more keen and aware than ourselves. So that's why it's just better to be completely authentic. I don't know if this someone's lying about clearing out their karma. Uh, I mean, I, I pretty much just realized that my channel has been about, it's not really so much tarot. I incorporated that in because I was drawn to it, like I've done it in another lifetime. I realized that what I do on this channel is I actually just expose. I'm, I'm a whistleblower that mixes tarot in with it. I command the truth, please. It's today, September 1st, 2022. Thank you. Clear that, please. A town that's right for me. Some of you are going to be moving from your neighborhood. And maybe you felt like... Um, some energy. Yeah, where the energy is better. But you uh, either you couldn't until recently or... You were big-headed like myself, and you were saying, I could move, but I ain't moving until I say so. You don't push me out of nowhere. Whatever the reason is, somebody's going to be moving from their neighborhood. Is somebody lying about clearing out their karma here? Is this a liar? Somebody uses the... I guess this is more exposure. So there's somebody who uses the term God. Yeah? Uh, they could talk about karma. They could say, oh, I don't know. If this is a tarot reader that talks about how you have to clear out karma before you actually touch tarot cards, this could be somebody where it's like you didn't even clear out your karma. Hold on a second. I have a feeling somebody else is my, my guides and ancestors target right now because they don't let up. I command the truth. Is this the person that said you can't touch tarot cards or until you're karma free or you shouldn't touch them? Can you clear that, please? Can you clear that, please? Is that even true that you can't touch? I didn't think so. There's so many things that someone in particular that it seems like my guides are attacking right now. There's so many things that came out of this person's mouth that just I don't know where they got it from. I don't know where they got it from. And I kept saying to myself, and I'm never gonna dance again. Guilty feet have... Yeah, someone's guilty. They're guilty of lying. They're not godly. They're not a good person. They're not a divine feminine. They're not karma free. They lied about saying uh, that you shouldn't touch tarot cards unless you cleared out your karma. They made all these other rules up about how you're not supposed to pull... Let me find out. Pull on somebody else's energy without their permission and... And let me just check. I don't because I don't know where this information came from. I command the truth. 
Are you allowed to pull on someone's energy without their permission? Yeah, there's like all these rules that this person made up, and I feel like it was just to give personal messages towards the people they don't like. That's it. So, uh, this and the reason why my guides get so heavy when it comes to tarot readers, you guys, is not because I'm jealous or whatever. It's it's I don't ask for this. And I don't really need to explain that. Anyone who knows me knows I have nothing to be jealous over. I have an amazing life and I'm grateful for every little thing down to the air I breathe every day. But this person or these people, they have been misleading a lot of people. Getting donations and super thanks and for some of these people given readings and they don't know what the fuck they're talking about. They don't know what they're talking about. We're not living in a time where we're misguiding people. We're supposed to be guiding people. We've been misguided and lied to for way too long. This is also the type of person that... Ignorance is kind. Right. I, I noticed... Oh, what I was going to say. There's no comfort in the truth. Yeah, this person doesn't tell the truth. And they may mix the truth with the lies like every other person does. I mean, you're very rarely going to find a person that just lies and doesn't mix truth with it. This is how people get duped. And I was saying to myself, what happened with this person? Like, why does it seem like... Why are they lying about so many things? Where are they getting this information why are they repeating the same shit over and over again? I realize now it's because they're on drugs and they drink as well. Um, when you Be careful. When people tell you out of their way to tell you what they're not doing, they have to tell you that multiple times. It's usually because they're doing it, okay? I'm like disgusted with this. But let's go. Let's just see. Yeah, please, please, like, just please use your discernment. Do what this person said, because they always wind up saying some shit that's going to kick them in the face, right? Get a pendulum or use a necklace and command the truth and ask your guides if this person's legit. Tell me about this person who lies about being karma-free, lies about God and... Thank you. It could be a water sign, a very immature water sign here. They drink. This is drinking to me with the Page of Cups and the Knight of Cups. This is a drinker. And then they lie. They drink and then they give messages. Very immature. Doesn't have to be a water sign, but that's what I'm looking at. Yeah, they're in this energy. I don't know if they've always been in this energy. Truth. I don't know if they've always been in this energy, but I know that they're there now, and that's what matters. This devil energy could represent alcohol and drugs. You know, they're dirt. Somebody's doing the devil's work and doesn't even realize it. Now, I don't even like really using that term because that's like religious to the doing the devil's work, smoking the devil's ladies. I don't know. But let's just see who this is. Let's just see. This is Page of Swords. Now, on another note, Page of Swords and a Page of Cups is this is also somebody that is trying to find information as well, like background checks. Yeah, it could be. It, there's a Sagittarius involved in something, but there's also a, a water sign masculine. Um Somebody's child may watch you as well. But there's a lot of water here. There's definitely a Cancer Pisces Scorpio male here for some reason. Dark Knight of the Soul. You think be, be more organized than this, he said. I get down on my knees and pray this is also the type of person that'll say that they pray for you i pray for you before i start i pray for you i pray for me i pray no you don't that was a lie as well how long you've been lying hold on did you hear that i don't even know what that was but that was confirmation though all right leaving a life Leading a life that I can't leave behind. Can, uh, command the truth. 
Is this a, a man that we're picking up on? Oh, so this is a female. I knew it. My, my guides are going to go in hard on somebody. I can feel it. Can you clear that, please? Is this this reader you still want me to talk about? All right. So this is a water sign, right? I'll wait till you say no. Reader. That, clear, <laughs> that tries to offer people balance with the temperance during their dark night of the soul. Can you clear that? Did this person go through their dark night of the soul at all? So you're just a fucking fraud altogether, ma'am. Wow. Wow. I have to admit, though. I have to admit, though. You got me for a little while. But there was changes that I noticed. And I know that there's other people who read who noticed it, too. Because it's eventually going to come out. Do I think that you've always been doing drugs? No, I don't. But I know that you started recently. That's You started some shit, okay? It's clear. What else? What else do you guys want to expose, I guess, about this person? Very angry. So they're very angry that they're getting exposed. Yeah. Well, then don't do stupid shit. Don't be a fraud. It's really that simple. It's really that simple because I know that you thought, you know, I'm, I remember when, when I first started watching you, like you had a cocky demeanor, but I kind of like that about you. But now I just realized that you're a karmic female, blames all dysfunctional, yeah, relationships. You, have, you haven't healed. You're very angry still. I can see it. I can hear it in your voice. There, there are certain things that really, truly awakened and sensitive people can hear. Now, I don't believe that you did spell work. I don't. We'll, we'll confirm this. I really don't believe that you did spell work, okay? But I do believe that you have started frauding people big time. And you lost yourself. I command the truth. Does this person does this person do spell work? Yeah, no, I don't think that you do, okay? I'm right on about you, and I know it. Clear that, please. Does this person know that I'm exposing them when I do these readings? Yep. Can you clear that, please? Is this the Gemini Cancer Cusper? Yep. Can you clear that? When I when I when they said that they pray for themselves and they pray for their look, no. Stop lying. Um I can promise you something. Your readings are going to get worse and worse. These ancestors are going to keep blocking all of your chakras and your intuition is eventually going to go because once once you're exposed, you get nervous now because now you know people are seeing you with like the uh, their microscopic eye and you'll start messing up and you're supposed to I don't feel like this person uh, eats as healthy as they claim can't handle what they put out they underestimated you you put out lies so what did you think that you weren't going to get exposed like everybody else that I exposed I'm going to give you a, I'm going to tell you something. The reason that I expose people is because I am absolutely who I said I am down to the, the where I'm living, down to the very few things that I have, down to all of the bad mistakes I've made in my life. I got real personal. You don't. The only personal thing that you got uh, or, or personal with was your kid, okay? And that was probably just because People like me were, were talking about people being inauthentic and that 1414 and that don't be careful of listening to readers that don't tell you anything personal. So you decided to throw something that you deemed was personal out there and then that's pretty much it. You haven't told us anything about your, you told us you got shot, okay? You, you told us you got shot and I do believe that you got shot. But these are things where it's like, what we said humiliated us. We, what we did, like, it was humiliation. You understand? When we mean personal, we mean shit that you, you don't want to tell about yourself. 
not things where you took a bullet for somebody else and that kind of makes you a hero in your eyes because that's very grandiose it's very narcissistic not the fact that you told everybody that somebody touched your tummy and they cursed you and then you wind up having a child with special needs it's still not putting you in the hot seat do you understand what i'm saying and and it's obvious like not only are you very angry but i believe that ancestors are very angry all right indeed is on indeed look because i want to show you how mine get down Oh, it was indeed. You could save big when you bundle your home and auto with Progressive, but when we just come out and say it, it feels When like we just come out and say it, right, just come out and say it. I know that you won't. So now it's like it makes me wonder, like, how much shit, ha how many lies have you told that people now, like, gave you donations and super thanks and thank you so much and the comments and shit like that, and it makes me angry when you fucking people come on the scene, I'm going to be honest with you, all right? What else? Yours cold. Yours cold is ice. <laughs> oh shit! Hot blooded. Yes, I know. I can feel it. You're really a cold person. You're a jealous woman. I I I picked this up a while ago, man. And it's like I'm like, nah, man, not another one, not another one. There it goes, the code of ethics thing again. Her buyer knew nothing about the home buying process, except that she wanted to buy a home. But her realtor had the expertise to make sure Beth understood every document, even giving her copies to review with her lawyer so Beth could close on her first home with... Co code of ethics is what that commercial is about. I command the truth. Is this female a jealous female? Can you close that, please, or clear that, please? Does this female have mental illness issues they haven't dealt with? Can you clear that, please? I command the truth. Does this female also drink and claim that they don't? We're tired alive, man. I'm going to speak for everybody that watches Tara. We're tired of lies. All five Claire's. This one got right here, dear. You probably lied about having all five Claire's as well. You could have said you had Claire's or whatever. Or I, I don't freaking know. I'm. Look at this shit. You're going backwards on your journey. You could have all five players, but I'm, you're not going to have them doing meth. I can promise you that. Eventually, you're not going to be able to do this because your, your mind's going to turn to mush. Your mind's going to race. You're not going to be rested. I know that I used to think, too, that smoking it, oh, you know, it chills me out. It made me eat. It made me calm. But my mind eventually went to mush and my looks went to shit. And, and I fucked my skin up because of it. This is what it means to be real and raw, what I'm saying right now. Stay away, fool. I think people are going to be staying away from you. Every time they even think bad of you, karma, I'm guessing that you're thinking some bad shit about me, huh? Be careful, because I'm only doing what you claimed that you were doing, remember? This is exactly what I came here to do. And I remember at first when I started exposing the other one, you were doing it too. And I'm like, oh, cool. You know, maybe it's both of us, you know? No. Nope. You're just, you're, you're no different. You're absolutely no different. Let's get some letters on this. <sighs> Every time you think something bad about me, you're going to get karma. F. Love Shack. I don't know. That could mean something as well. I think that there's a lot of people who can be whatever they want on these channels, man. Especially when they don't show their faces. And and you can make any story, your life, whatever you want it to be, FT. And people like me are going to expose all of you. Through my, through my readings, FTE. I'm just letting you know. And any of you that try to 
get back at me because I don't do shit or even say think some nasty shit about me, you're immediately going to get hit with karma. Full-time equivalent? Full-time equivalent? I don't think so. Hold on. Um, full trucker effect. What? Well, maybe it is full time equivalent. I command the truth. Is this full time equivalent? No. Is this full trucker effect? Oh, on the Bubba the Love Sponge show. What's that? What's full time? Hold on. Oh, would push a person would get off their high horse FTE? The fuck the damn establishment. Is that what this means? No. Can I command this the truth? Is this for the erection? For the erection? Clear that, please. Clear that, please. I command the truth. Is this for the uh, for the erection? Oh. Okay. So you for the dick? Oh my gosh. This is like. Trying to get a rise out of you only to make themselves angry. So, I mean, I don't know. Is this... This could be somebody somebody else. I, I'm sorry to keep using this. I have to see if we're still talking about this person or if they let up. Trying hard to look like Gary Cooper. I don't know what that means, but they're playing these songs for a reason. I command the truth, please. Are we still talking about this person? Oh, okay. Can you clear that? They're trying to get a rise out of me? Oh. Oh, maybe they're, you put something on your... I don't know. Whatever. Maybe they're telling me you're going to do this. I don't even notice. Honestly, I don't even notice. But, you know, from what... I don't know. This is, this is coming from the ethers. Somebody is for the erection, and they possibly say that they're celibate, is what I'm getting, okay? All right, let's see. Companion. Look, black magic. What's this? Ah. Oh. I don't, I don't feel like you do black magic. I really don't. But I feel like... Why would this be here with that Range Rover? I don't know what this is here. Somebody drives a Range Rover in your circle. So this could still be you. Somebody could drive a Range Rover. This could be your companion. Something here with black magic. I don't know. I mean, shit. Why? Black magic could be manipulation, just manipulating something. I'm going to I'm going to close this out because I honestly I'm going to be honest with you. I feel uncomfortable doing this. I do. I do, I'm not one of those people that just I don't like this, but it needs to be done because People now, we need to be able to trust somebody who claims to be guiding us through something. If you haven't even gone through your dark night of the soul and you're in anger, I can tell by the way you laugh. I can tell by the way you make sure you don't curse. I can tell that's not you. I can tell. There aren't, first off, now I know there aren't many people who smoke meth who don't curse, motherfucker, okay? So you just a whole other level of fraud. And it's my job on, it, with what I do to expose frauds. And if that's you, well, then it's you, okay? I, I command the truth, please. Is this pers does this person, this reader I'm, I'm exposing, actually, do, do they do black magic on their... 
clear this, please? I command the truth. So you do do black magic. Oh, boy. Uh, I'm cool, man. Or there's somebody in your circle doing it, man. There, there's somebody in your circle that possibly drives a Range Rover. This could be your new companion or this could be a friend of yours or something. They could possibly be doing it. Like, I don't really want to get into that part. Uh, yeah, whatever he just said. I, I'm... That's how I feel. I just want to get out of this. I didn't know that they were going to do this again. So you're going backwards on this journey that you claim to be on. Okay? Maybe this is to help you and not hurt you. All right? I'm out. We're not going nowhere, you guys, though. 